Seen anything of Orbins? What do you want him for? To mend the pipe in the power plant. Can't you fix it yourself? I wouldn't dare. Well, I haven't seen Orbins all day. He's probably busy. Joey. Joey. Joey.
Hey, Lem. Hey, Lem. Hey, Lem. Do you have a problem? Hi, lad. I was hoping to see you. My card isn't working and I can't use the elevator. Perhaps you've been made a D-Link. Don't be so bloody impertinent, lad. What will poor little Couscous do? Who's Couscous? My pussy. She has to be fed. What would I do if she died? You could always get another one. It wouldn't be the same. I've had Couscous since she was a kitten. I could feed her for you. If I could get into your apartment. You go down to Bellevue, and I'll authorize it so you can. By the way, Couscous likes to be pampered. Like all women, eh, lad? <laughs> Apart from D-Links, you mean. You need therapy, lamb. What's that robot doing here? He's my personal assistant. Say hello, Joey. Hello, Joey. <laughs> Pity he's got no brain. Come on, Joey. What a fat cat! Hello, puss. They're fake, just empty cardboard boxes. That's pathetic. I could do better. It's got more buttons than a maternity dress. Might have guessed Lamb would have a TV screen like that. Big, showy, and ostentatious.
Hi, who are you? Can't you tell? I'm Mr. Cool. And you're encroaching on my personal space. Where can I get a Shriebman port? What's that? An interface which allows humans to talk to computers. Like a mouse, you mean? No, it's a surgically implanted slot. Say, I've heard of those things. They give them to perverts, don't they? Are you a pervert? Certainly not. Oh, you sure look like one. How can I get out of the city? Have you thought about defecation? Don't you mean defection? What? Isn't that what I said? I asked you about leaving the city, not bodily processes. You're not making sense. But anyway, you can't leave the city. There's a restriction on travel. That sure is a smart coat. Yeah, cool, ain't it? It makes yours look like really shabby. Where I come from, it's the height of fashion. Oh, where would that be? The wild open spaces. Where people know the true meaning of freedom. I'd sit at a diet and dress like that. There are more important things than fashion. Only one I know of, and that's poise. And you got the poise of a wildebeest on a waltzer. I wouldn't bear my bum if it looked like that. I bet those muscles are artificially developed. Those breasts are never natural. Those like that would be great for tracking. It's a holographic projector. An illustrated brochure. Great, it's positively pornographic. Naked people with extra parts. The things folk do for fashion. Welcome to Birch Biosurgery. How may I help you? What services do you provide? A complete range of fash off. From personal piercing cosmetic transplant. Do people have ops to be fashionable? Certainly. Can you think of a better reason? What about medical purposes? Our clients are rich enough not to need medical treatment. Would you let me in for a fashion off? Do you have an appointment? No, I don't. Too bad. You should have burned. I want a Schwiebman port. Your name, please? Robert Foster. There's little chance of seeing the doctor. Why not? I have instructions not to disturb him. Unless you wish to pay cash, of course. Try talking to that hologram, Joey. What for? I need to see the doctor. And she won't let me in. What shall I say to her? Use your natural charm on her. I got an idea. I'll try the subtle approach.
Excuse me. Don't make me jump like that. Sorry, didn't realize you were busy. Just practicing. I like to keep my hand in. But what can I do for you? I need a Shriebman port. Really? Do you have sufficient credit? All I've got are the clothes I'm wearing. In that case, you'll require the easy pay scheme. Yes, that sounds perfect. Kidney, lung, or testicles? What? what Which organ do you wish to sell? I'm not selling anything. No parts, no port. Send in the next customer. Excuse me. Maybe I wouldn't miss a kidney. I'd have to run some tests. Stand behind the scanner, please. Turn around, please. I can't use either of them. Why not? They're too good to sell at second hand. I'd have to overprice myself to be popular. You make money by trading people's organs? What else would I do with them? Open a restaurant? Excuse me. I suppose I could spare a one. Let's have a look at them first. On the scanner? Yes, please. Our stain feed. Has someone been experimenting on you? Why do you ask that? I've never seen a body quite like yours before. I'm afraid I can't use them. Is there something wrong? Tell me, Doc, I can take it. You're simply too healthy. Most bodies would reject your organs. Excuse me. I guess I've no choice, Doc. I'll have to sell you my... It's not as bad as you think. When I said I'd take your testes, I meant after your death. That's a great consolation. All I require from you now is your consent. Take a seat, please. Uh, do you use local anesthetic? Oh no, it doesn't hurt. Any more than having your ears pierced. In that case, I need a general anesthetic. You now have a Schriebman port. You may experience headaches, but don't worry, it's quite normal. A diagnostic computer. That looks ominous and scary. Excuse me. Your receptionist certainly is strange. That's my wife you're talking about. You're married to a hologram? She wasn't a hologram when we wed. She died last year, but I decided to keep her. Doesn't the fact that she's dead distress you? No. She's a lot less trouble than when she was alive. Can you get me to ground level, Doc? I have my reputation to consider. If you're determined, you might ask my friend Vili. Just tell him I sent you. He has a rather special policy. I've had a bad knock on the head. Any after effects? Yeah, pain. Impairment of vision? I keep seeing flying saucers. Any dizziness? Yeah, I can hardly stand. 
You know, I get exactly the same myself. I wish I knew what causes it. Thanks again for the port, Doc. It's a pleasure to do business with you. Poor devil. Hello there. You're conscious. Oh, yes. Doesn't it hurt? Oh, no. I wouldn't have volunteered if it did. Have you brought me any grapes? I'm afraid not. Oh, thank goodness for that. Grapes make me feel quite squeamish. They remind me of eyeballs. Do you know anyone called Oberman? I've never heard of him. I have to go now. Drop by again sometime. It's an old phrenological diagram. It's a guy with his skin cut off. A body scanner. It's connected to the computer. Never mind. in a rubber raincoat carrying an anchor. The anchor is firmly attached to the statue. Hello. Hi. You look like a man who needs insurance, yeah? Can I interest you in this? A rogue robot policy. I've never heard of that before. It's a safeguard against the possibility of your robot turning on you. Joey would never do that. Aha! So you think. Surveys show that 42% of all domestic droid owners are worried about the risk of attack. This is bullshit, Foster. Don't listen to that moron. Nasty temper that robot's got, yeah? Tell me more about the policy. All you have to do is sign a form. We'll do a probability estimate and give you the result. How come it takes so long? We have to strip the robot down and analyze each component. I do not want him handling my parts, Foster. Now I'm definitely not interested. Tell you what, take time to consider it, yeah? Can you help me get to ground level? Ah, what you need is travel insurance, huh? Just to use an elevator? Hey man, those things are death traps, yeah? Our policy gives you cover for all elevator-related situations. I'm not interested. I want one of your special policies. Who sent you? Dr. Burt. The ghoul, huh? He's cool. So, how can I help you? Can you get me out of the city? It's dangerous. Are you sure you've got the balls? That's a delicate subject. Wait here. I have to make a call.
Use your welder on that statue, Joey. What for? That anchor could be useful. I'm always ready for a spot of welding. Any luck with your contact? Security have put a hold on comms. Seems there's a saboteur on the loose. Do you have a client called Oberman? I'll check the computer files. Do you know the first name? Uh, no. Hmm. Do you know the address? Uh, no. Do you know what sex this person is? Well, presumably he's male. At last we're getting somewhere. Now, what is his link status? I haven't a clue. Never mind. I'll try a search anyway. Name, Overman. Address, unknown. Sex, male, possibly. No, there's no Overman on my records. Never mind. Hey, Lem. Thanks for the tour. You're welcome. I hope you've learned something about pipes. Oh yes, it was most instructive. From now on, whenever I smell raw sewage, I'll think of you, Gilbert. Let me give you a tip, lad. If you want to get anywhere in this city, you have to bend the rules. In what way? If you don't want to get entangled in red tape, you need insurance, a special policy. See my friend Anchor. He'll help you out.